Okay, hi everyone, we are live. I am here with our computer science student, Ruben. Hi Ruben, how are you? Hi, I'm doing very well. Thank you, Ruben, where are you located? So I live in Texas, that's where I live. I'm, I live in Houston, Texas, that's the area where I'm from. Okay, beautiful, I've never been to Texas. but uh, Thank you, Ruben, where are you located? Uh oh. So I live in Texas. That's I'm where hearing I live a little bit of an Houston, echo. Texas. That's the area where I'm from. Yeah, I heard the echo too. Okay, I think we fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. So, hi, everyone. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, like I said, it's a pleasure to be here with Ruben, our computer science student. We're just going to talk a little bit about the computer science program. Um, Ruben can answer any questions you may have. Um, but I wanted to say that I hope everyone had um, a great experience with your exams and everything went well. And I'd love to hear from you guys uh how your exams went why don't our students let us know um you know what you're studying and our applicants uh let us know where you're from so we can differentiate the two and i see a lot of people are signing on that's really exciting thank you guys so much for tuning in um and we already have a question from nadine who's been on this before nadine asks how far are you into the program i'm i'm pretty like Six months in. That's how much I'm into the program. So, I, so, yeah. you're, so how is it going so far? So far, it's going very well. I think like the, the most <laughs> interesting thing about University of the People is that they really guide you through the process. So I really like how it's been brought up. Also, it's all about the, the portions we cover, even though they may be small. You can see towards the end of the exam, like when you're going to get to the final exam, how much it's helped you during that way. How you've actually learned. So yeah. It's, it's so there's good. a lot of uh, there's a lot of opportunities for reflection. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm just curious. Who else? I see that um, that Ken is from Brazil and he's interested in computer science. So hi, Ken. Feel free to ask Ruben some questions. I'm just curious who out there is studying uh, computer science. Feel free to leave a comment and we'll go from there hey dan how are you okay so just a few things about this degree program um there are two options for the computer science program you can or, uh, you can pursue a bachelor's degree or an associate's degree and the bachelor's degree um, provides students with an in-depth knowledge um and analytical skills associated the fields of IT and computer science, which opens the doors to a broad career path, um, since computers have become such a critical part of our society, and uh, provides a framework applying strategies uh, for the effective designs of, of computing systems. And this can typically uh, be completed in four years, the, the bachelor's degree. And the associate's degree is a uh, typically completed in two years. Um, it's built on, that program is built on a strong industry foundation and provides a broad understanding of business and business fundamentals. Um, it's, you know, very technical and I'm sure that um, Ruben will explain some more about that program. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, I'll just let you take it from here, Ruben. Why don't you just uh, give us a brief overview of yourself? Tell us about, about you, who you are. We know you are Ruben. You live in uh, Houston, Texas in the U.S., but what else can you tell us? So interesting enough, I, I actually had a crazy, crazy story, basically. So... I, I am from here, but I used to live in New York, and I lived in New York for four years, and while I was living in New York, I did a lot of small jobs and stuff like that, and traveled around the world, did some volunteer work, uh, but what's interesting was, like, when I, when I left the volunteer work, I was like, oh, well, what am I going to do now? That was, like, the struggle, the question of what was I going to do after that, and at that point, I hadn't even uh, looked at studying because looking for a degree or something like that was very hard. And I was like, ah, man, it's going to be expensive and all that. Um, and that's what brought me sort of to University of the People. I think like University of the People brings high quality education and opens it up to so many of us that, you know, may have not had that opportunity to have been able to uh, pursue uh, a, a degree. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, and how, just out of curiosity, how did you learn about the university? How did I learn about the university? Well, I learned uh, actually just through through the YouTube and the website. Uh, honestly, I think I saw like a review on the website and it took me to University of the People. And from there, that's where I uh, learned through all the information. And and what was really cool was having these type of uh, meetups, you know, and where a student can actually talk because like this is what, what brought me in. I was like, wow, like it's a normal person. He applied, he got in, you know, um, and and that's what kind of like motivated me as well, seeing others getting accepted and seeing others, you know, fulfill their dreams as well. Because not only do you guys have students, you guys have actual graduates that have gone out and done amazing things. Yeah, we have a lot of graduates. Um, Dan Garrick is a graduate. He's he's commenting. Hey, Dan. Um, and uh, we have a lot of really great graduates who've, who've gone on to IBM, Dell, Amazon, uh, you name it. A, a lot of really great corporations. Um, okay, so tell us a little bit about your journey pursuing higher education. Did you have challenges in the past, maybe financial? I know in the U.S. Um, it can be very costly to go to university, so maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Definitely, you know, exactly like you mentioned, you, you know, it financially is probably the number one struggle, I think, for, for most families, uh, especially with all things that, that happen all, all the time. Uh, but I really wanted to study. I really wanted to learn more about computing, especially computing. This is a subject I, I'm passionate about. I've always liked. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a challenge because of not knowing which college to go to or what to do. Uh, and, and what, what really motivated me to learn this is because I was like, well, university of people gives you the chance, you know, it, and, and the cool thing is, you know, there's no tuition fees or anything like that. So it like helps you just cover your course. You pay your, your fees for your course, but that's it. And that really opens up the opportunity for a lot of us to actually be able to get higher education. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks for sharing about that. So Maybe you can talk a little bit more about um, your experience at University of the People, uh, like learnings, the courses, instructors. Um, we have, you know, a lot of students. So maybe how you how you interact with students. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your experience. Well, one thing I want to say about University of the People is like like I said earlier, which is their education or the way that you know you guys teach is high quality uh so first off like that's one thing i noticed as going through the curriculum because we studied uh so far i've studied two of the programming languages that we've covered there which is one of them is python and the other one is java and both of them start off with very like simple examples but we build on those we keep building on those until we get to more difficult concepts uh, and, and I really like how it's structured because it builds upon what you, what you know, or what you're learning. Uh, and second of all, another part of the experience has been the peer to peer, uh, uh learning. I feel like, you know, people, I guess they don't realize how big of an impact that is. And I wish that was a, a bigger thing because getting to see someone else's work and seeing like, you know, even if it's just for myself, just getting to see other people's work, it's amazing because it's like you learn from other people. And you're like, wow, I could have done this or wow, I could have done that. So it, it just builds upon the experience of learning. Apart from that, I can say that uh, just the other students are amazing. They're super encouraging. Uh, we have the discussion forum and every time they write something there, I'm like, I'm just excited to see what they write. As, as for the instructors, wow, the instructors are, if you have any question, they'll just, they'll answer promptly. Like they're so yeah. ready to help. So I, I really appreciate the way that uh, that's structured. Yeah, in addition to, well, I'm really happy to hear that. In addition to uh, uh, instructors, you're also assigned a program advisor when you um, enroll at University of the People. So you literally have somebody holding your hand the whole way through your experience. So if you ever have any questions, you can always reach out to your program advisor. You can always reach out to, um, 
you know, to your, uh, your instructor. Um, there's just a lot of support and the classes are small. So we really focus on the individual. Um, why don't you tell me a bit about your, uh, you know, your, your career, um, and what you've been, what you were doing before University of the People, what you're doing now, how the computer science program will help you. Yeah, for sure. So uh, I used to work as a as a cook and as a waiter. Uh, that's what I used to do. Um, okay. And but thanks, you know, thanks to University of People and studying uh, on that, uh, it's helped me get a tech job. So I have a, a entry level tech job right now. Uh, but it is helping me. And and not only that, it's building upon what I am learning as well. And I'm learning how to apply those things, you know, in the workplace as well because we repair machines and stuff like that. So we repair computers. So it, it helps me, you know, be more efficient, you know. And also, I have sometimes to answer questions from customers, and uh, that requires being knowledgeable of what I'm talking about. So, uh, university of people greatly helps with that. Um, okay, great. I'm so happy that you have had a positive experience. And somebody had a question. Um, here, I'll show it on the screen. Um, Roger wants to know what is the fundamental course and did you have to take any? If so, how was it? So the fundamental course, if I'm not mistaken, those I are the first mean, course, uh, right? Yeah, the foundation courses, exactly. Foundation. Yeah, the foundation course, yeah, you do have to take them, but they are very good because they gauge your knowledge. That's what they're for. You know, they gauge how much you know about a certain subject. And even for, for oneself, it's like a good reminder. I was like out of school for like several years, like four or five years I had graduated high school. And those foundations were like, oh, wait, you know, get, get to refresh your mind on some of the concepts or ideas, you know, that you may have not put into practice in a while. Right. Um, okay, so the uh, foundation courses, I believe, are assigned to you. Uh -huh. Are they assigned to you? Actually, yeah, they are. Okay, thank you. <laughs> they're, assigned, they're assigned to you at the beginning, right before you actually become a degree-seeking student. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. So maybe you could talk. I know you're just in, you know, six months in, um, and you've had a very positive experience, which is great. But maybe you can talk about, you know, where you see yourself moving, um, how uh, maybe what you see yourself doing after graduation. I know you still have time, but, you know, any ideas? Yeah, actually, just a few. Uh, right now, currently, um, I'm just trying to to finish my studies. But in the future, I like to move back to New York because I spent, you know, for like four years over there and I really enjoyed it. So I want to go back. And I also uh, I want to see myself hopefully working for, for a, a company, you know, um, I don't know which one is available, but any one of them, Amazon, IBM, anything, you know, that's what, that's yeah. what I would like to do. Um, great. Well, I wish you all the best of luck with that. I'm sure you'll do amazing things, Ruben. Um, okay, so maybe you can talk about, you know, how you balance your work uh, study life. Like, um, you know, how do you manage your studies around your lifestyle? Well, I have a very busy life and, and I'm guessing like most everyone has a busy life uh, and most students that are studying. But you know, one of the things that helps me and I think University of People is really good about is they are very flexible. So, you know, we have a determined amount of time we have to do certain tasks, but we have the full control of when we carry them out. So if, you know, if I have a few extra minutes, you know, during my break time at work or so, I can maybe read up on something very briefly, you know, and that'll help me keep the, the ideas or my mind flowing on some of the, the bigger concepts. Uh, and then just adjusting time, you know, if I if I can't study in the morning, I'll study at night. Uh, and if I can't study at night, I'll study in the morning. So adjusting to that, you know, and, and, and I think another thing that helps me is not just going over just our information, but also expanding on it. Like uh, look at, looking at what the discussion forum says, you know, if you have a question, ask the instructor, you know, like the instructors are ready to help. I honestly, that's been one of the greatest help the instructors and the other students because just seeing how they think or how they approach something it just expands on the whole experience okay 
I'm really happy to hear that. And um, one last question I have for you, Ruben. I know you're busy. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But what are your career aspirations? You kind of you kind of touched on it a little bit, but I'm giving you you know another opportunity to talk about it. Your career aspirations in the computer science field. Well, uh, uh, if hopefully you know get like a, a programming job. Like I really enjoy programming. It's a it's a language in itself, you know. It's not, it's like uh, any form of communication, except it's it's basic, very basic, you know. Instead of full sentences, it's just symbols and words. So so communicating with computers is is my passion. So uh, yeah, that's in something in the programming field is a lot of fun. Okay, amazing. Um, I have to tell you, I took a a, a coding class in um, college. And I did not understand what was happening. <laughs> it wasn't a coding class. I don't know what it was, but I just remember doing HTTP something something, and it was horrible. But so, great job! <laughs> I'm so impressed by people who understand this language because I did not understand it at all. Um, I think I have more of a creative mind than a like coding mind. So, <laughs> um, it's super impressive. Uh, okay, so. Uh, thank you so much, Ruben. Again, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I wish you the best of luck in your studies. Um, any final thoughts on, you know, whether maybe we have people out there who aren't sure if they want to apply to UO people or enroll at UO people? What would you say to them? Uh, number one thing I would say, do it. Apply to University of the People. Uh, honestly, the the way you you you'll get this education is just amazing it's at your own pace so you're able to grasp those concepts uh and honestly uh you're missing out if you're not applying that's the number one thing uh so i would really really encourage those who haven't signed up to sign up don't be scared like you know everything's a challenge but whenever we put our effort into it it works out so we you can do it too if if you haven't signed up, sign up. Yeah, thank you. And we just uh, reopened, uh, re like you can register for next term. Um, so we just opened that up. So actually, I, um, in or sorry, enroll for next term. I um, included a link in the description of this event to our application page. And if anyone has any questions, I saw somebody asked about the step-by-step -step process. We have videos on our YouTube account. Um, so feel free to hop on there after this event and check those out. Um, if anyone has any questions about anything, like whether it's the application process or a question about degree programs, um, please feel free to reach out to admissions at uopeople.edu, or you can always uh, DM me, or it's not just me. I have a we have a great social media team who will answer your questions, um, and or leave a comment, whatever it is. Uh, my job is to be here to support you guys. So please feel free to reach out. And um, yeah, and I just wanna say that the new term starts on Thursday, a week from today, and I will be interviewing President Shai Reshef. So it's always very exciting to have uh, President Reshef on these live events. So um, that's all I got. Ruben, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank and, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, everyone, for uh, for joining me today. Um, it's been a pleasure. So I hope everyone has a great day and stay safe and healthy wherever you are. And let me know if you have any questions. So thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Take care. Bye, Ruben. <laughs>